Hey, what's up everyone? Yuma here with another Moonlight Blade mobile video. Uh, today we're going to be covering the career feature system and the seven careers within. Uh, I just feel like a overview guide is needed. I don't see any at the moment. Um, and also just because people still don't have a clue what some careers do or just need a, a hand in understanding what they should do. Uh, but the first thing we do want to cover is the vigor system so the vigor system you need vigor it's kind of like energy and stamina and other mmo games where you, you need to use vigor to do anything career related uh, we do have a 7500 capacity between level 1 to 60 and a 10,000 uh, vigor capacity above level 61 which thankfully at the point uh, at the time of this recording we are three days away from level 61 so thank god for that because we all need vigor and uh <laughs> we're always running out of vigor uh, but you get 15 percent vigor every day uh, based on your storage limit so between level 1 to 60 you get 1125 points of vigor every day and above level 61 you'll get 1500 points of career vigor every day all right so going right into it, the first thing I want to tell you guys is that no matter what career you focus in, which most people will be balanced all around, but some people might be trying to rush to the end level. Every single career has a stat buff at the very end. It's all the same as plus 30 stamina, dex, strength, and int on all careers. So you don't have to worry about that. And that, this is upon reaching level 30 of the career, which is the max level. Um, aside from that, you all, um, all uh, careers also have their own cosmetics. Some costumes, some accessories. You can try on, um, and you can see here, this is the chef one. We have the scholar one, uh, the ranger one, bounty hunter, escort master, uh, constable. And there's the fishing competition one, which is separate from the careers. Um, accessory wise, we do have like the Sky Star one, which I really like. So I can take off this silly outfit real quick. Um, hold on. Let me just do that. I actually really want the Sky Star one, so I need to start working on that. I really like this mask. <laughs> With this outfit, it kind of looks like a k-pop idols face mask but um yeah straight up that's what i wanted to talk about first is that everything has their own cosmetics their own alliances as well that give stats and then the uh end stat buff as well all right so in terms of what helps your party the ones that help your party the most would be chef and scholar reason why I'm saying is because they give direct stat buffs or party buffs. Um, they are timed, of course. So with Chef, you can cook food not only for your NPC, like increase the fondness for your NPC, um, but you also can cook buff foods. I haven't seen the buff food recipes yet. I feel like you have to be much more higher level, but I have seen buff foods in my inventory, um, such as this one sweet soy milk uh, which i completed i got from a quest however but you can improve your def uh, pen and defense attributes i had a yellow one that i used during guild war which gave like 80 or 90 pen and break um so you can give that to your entire team team of five which is very helpful i also have a music buff playing as you can see here for scholars um so the higher level and scholar you are the better music buffs you can give uh, for your team of five yet again so ideally you'd always want a chef and a scholar that can supply these buffs uh, within your party just because they do help right um, so with chef uh, or with every career system we have a featured system which allows you to understand what you need to do um, it, the mini games and stuff like that so with chef you have the fishing mini game which you can just press check and you can tell you how to fish your fishing level everything fish related um 
and then you also once you fish you can sell it at the ingredient shop for ingredients uh, the currency to buy ingredients and then you can cook them which is in this screen here where you have the recipe info um, and eventually end game you can uh, craft these four yellow rarity foods and create a guild banquet is it just a guild specific banquet it can be open in the big world guild station or homeland courtyard yeah this could be just for all your friends this banquet which is pretty cool this, uh, that's a pretty cool accomplishment you, you just get some popularity from that like oh damn a banquet everyone will recognize you right so very cool very nice some end game stuff there for chef um, so always happy to or handy to have that um, always in demand I would say and it's pretty uh, it's pretty fun I do like the fishing mini game for scholar uh, your mini games would be performance if you ever played osu or tap tap games um, this is just this where you click and drag um, in rhythm on time and stuff like that and you can get music scores that you can play for your NPC for fondness um, and then you also have a quiz style mini game where you have nine questions each time you play this for 360 vigor which I can show you right now uh, which country is located in the Arabian Peninsula uh, oh no Please, please don't hurt me if I get any of this wrong. That's Saudi Arabia. I was hovering over this. Okay. Household pet, uh, cat is the most common household cat. Um, oh, no. The mitosis. Okay, mitosis. Uh, best picture in 2021? I don't know. Oh, come on, man. Uh, you can skip the question it once like you do get benefits later on in scholar where you can skip questions i should have just used my skip question that's moscow I'm, what am i doing i'm pressing all the wrong buttons okay let's just skip the question you don't get all these skip questions but the higher you are in scholar the more benefits you are to help you with these mini games i don't know skip the question bro first few months uh, bro they, they they expect you to know these questions like what the hell they're trolling, uh, Australia. Perfect. So that's just a preview of the, the quiz. If you get wrong or right, it doesn't matter. You get the same amount of XP. So don't, don't worry too much about it. It's just a troll mini game. <laughs> um, so that's scholar for you. Um, again, you just can unlock music buffs, which is very helpful. Um, aside from that, we have Constable. Um, Constable is like if you ever played Phoenix, right? You're just kind of gathering evidence, testimonies, and trying to figure out who the suspect is. Uh, not my cup of tea, but um, you, you do have to do it for certain things. Well, actually, I don't think you have to do it at all. The, the judge cases but it's just nice to have the benefits of uh, the one that we do have to do that everyone has to do is the bounty system you do the bounty system either for specific quests such as the fellow weekly quest where it tells you that you can do uh, five bounty complete five bounty with your your friends but um, there are also i think progressive quests that you had to do or adventure quests that you had to do that required you to do bounty um and I a lot of people mistake that for the bounty hunters bounty because i don't know what why the game made two systems called bounty but they did so bounty hunter has a bounty and constable has a bounty but in most cases the bounty that the game is referring to is the constable's bounty uh with bounty you would need a party of up to three or more people um to run this and it's just like kind of an errand quest you just complete four quests 100 vigor each 400 total to complete um a bounty chain and um that's pretty much it of course every career path once you level up more it just helps you uh complete the mini quests or mini games faster so that's constable uh ranger ranger is uh the treasure digging um treasure digging mini game where you just go 
and use these butterflies. It costs the least to do, but it's also frustrating because there is a adventure quest tied to this. If you actually look here, adventure, chance encounter, adventure overview, this man in the cave, you have to get the surprise opal, which you get by chance by treasure digging with ranger. And you have to do this like six or more times because you have to get all the endings with the surprise opal. It's just infuriating, honestly. Um, and sometimes when you explore, you get mo monsters or uh, bandits that attack you. Like this guy. And then you just get some avatar marks and stuff like that. And you just keep spamming this. You press buy. Um, and then you just look for the next treasure. So it's fairly easy to do. Um, the good thing about Ranger is if you need bound vouchers, this is a decent way to get bound vouchers because you have a chance it's like a gacha system pretty much you have a chance to get uh antiques which i'll show you after i dig one more time i should have showcased fishing earlier i do apologize but i'm sure you guys can figure that out i wanted to showcase the bounty system but as you can see i'm solo there's no one no party members here uh, we got another ranger just kill him more avatar marks so you just keep doing this until a surprise opo pops out for the adventure quest or um, antiques as well so for the antiques if you go to antique appraise oh, no antique collection you can get elite uh, exquisite or supreme rarity antiques so you can see i get 150 bound voucher for finding that and 100 for finding these as well whether you uh, fail in confirming whether it's real or fake you still get the bound voucher collection and you still get the same amount of xp i believe so don't worry about that it's a myth that people will tell you you get less xp um so yeah that's ranger uh and then we got bounty hunter i haven't been doing bounty hunter much but just know that every time you hunt uh, a unique npc you do get a shit ton of bounty vouchers as well uh that or silver based on rarity so definitely worth doing or silver if you're running low on silver or if you need bound vouchers um, we can actually just do one now just to showcase um, how it works and a lot of people might be wondering how do you get uh, the escort flags or the bounty order I'll, I'll tell you guys after Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, where is it? Here we are. So go and press G. And this is kind of like Assassin's Creed. You use your ego, find the culprit, target, click to lock, and voila. Now we just auto follow or auto path. Now that our assassin target is marked, you just go stealth we take them from behind without consent don't do that guys don't do this in real life <laughs> and then you just well on them consent is sexy guys don't do this <laughs> they're dead anyway so they don't they don't get consent but ignore what i just said um good thing to note um, I don't know if you saw, but we got some blue butterflies. The blue butterflies that you get from Bounty Hunter is what you use for Ranger. Um, so I want to, I wanted to talk about this at the end, but it makes sense to talk about it now, I guess. Um, so there, I think Constable, um, you get the, um, let's go over there real quick. Let's talk about this real fast i know it's in the middle of the whole career overview but um it's important so you claim bounty oh is it from here reward info i must be tripping give me one second uh constable career path yes so when you do bounty 
uh, the career, the constable bounty, you get escort flags and you get bounty orders. So constable bounty is the first thing you need to do that will give you these premium career items that you then use in escort master. So you need an escort flag here. And also within uh, bounty hunter, you need to use the bounty order here. So if you're not buying these from the um, the trade function, uh, I want to buy set up shop. Oh, you can't do it right now. I thought I always do these guys in the morning, and the shop doesn't open at two p.m. until two p.m. But you can buy um, the bounty order and escort flag from the trade shop the player shop you can buy it with silver ingots not that i recommend you doing it since you can get it free just from running bounty anyways but if you're running low on vigor and stuff like that and you don't want to waste time you that is an option but uh once again yeah you get the bounty order and the escort flag from bounty constable minigame then you use that to get the mighty escort escort flag so then that way you can get silver ingots through escort match master which we'll talk about and then you'll also get the blue butterfly from the bounty hunter and then you use the blue butterfly then to go into ranger which you'll get the escort flag it, so it all the careers feed into each other as you can see um, which is why it's kind of hard to focus into one thing initially i wanted to just focus all my time in chef but some of these quests like ranger requires you to go uh do ranger stuff to get the uh adventure done right so there's a lot of things that make you have to divert and use your vigor for other things which is um annoying i guess but at the same time it's just i know they want you to experience the entire game and all the features that the game has to offer so i get it uh, i'm not mad about it just give us more vigor honestly uh, every oh speaking of vigor you do um man i should have said this at the very beginning but i apologize this is what happens when you try to do an unedited raw version video um, but the vigor system as well uh, every monday and every friday you can use 15 vigor pills which are these nice juicy looking things um, you get 250 vigor points per use and you can use it 15 times on monday and 15 times on friday something to take note of um but yeah so i was rambling a little bit so we're doing bounty hunter we just finished a bounty um that's basically what this function does uh we're going to move on to escort master which we just briefly looked at so you need three or more people for this as well um so escort master and constable are the only ones where you actually need a party three or more um again it's better to do the mighty escort it's not really worth doing security escort you want these silver ingots if you haven't checked my um 18 tips or tricks guide it talks about how you get um how there's like a hidden silver ingot shop which you can use and you need a lot of silver ingots so you can buy all these uh goodies you know so it's very important i highly recommend doing the mighty escort doing is always better to do the higher uh rarity mini game but yeah if you look in the career path um career uh, the escort master is mainly the best way to get silver ingots that's pretty much it um aside from that uh we have sky star our last career sky star this is like um this is pretty much end game. We don't really have end game in the game right now. So if you're very PVE oriented, you might enjoy this a lot. I th I thoroughly enjoy Sky Star. You can access this from menu, challenge, and Sky Star token right here. Um, I was binging this like week one, but for some reason I stopped. I'm probably gonna get back into it eventually. Um, and I'll probably do a Sky Star guide uh, regarding how to how to do this efficiently and stuff like that but it's fairly fun it's a labyrinth there's different floors i think up to 10 floors um and it's just it, it can be annoying a lot of people find it daunting a lot of new players 
Um, I do recommend going solo exploration. The mobs are a lot easier than team exploration. Team exploration, they really buff up the HP and damage. So um, just a quick tip. I'm probably going to do a separate video for a Sky Star guide. But um, basically, the career helps you improve your Sky Star uh, survivability and quality of life and stuff like that. So something to take note of, Skystar, uh, you basically have a, a, your own shop where you can buy consumables to survive, um, as well as these accessories eventually once you get to Skystar token level 50. Um, so it's more of a ongoing mini game that you can do at all times. Um, there, there are questions, how do you level up your Skystar level though? Because I've been... Yo, I've been playing Sky Star token for so long, and my thing was only level two. The only way to level up your Sky Star is to open the golden chests within the the labyrinth. That or opening these chests. If you open your bag, go to career. You can open these chests that drop from mobs. See, it says you cost. It'll cost you two hundred fifty career vigor, which we can. Do I want to do? Do I want to use this? Yeah, we'll just use it. <laughs> See. There you go. You get a bunch of goodies as well as XP. I just spent 2,000 vigor just like that, man. Spending like I'm rich with vigor. But um, I do want the level 28 uh, mask anyway, so <laughs> might as well. I was saving vigor to show you guys the different mini games, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. Those are the seven different careers. Do I recommend anyone spe anything specific? I do. I do like buffing. So chef and scholar for me, but honestly, you need to do all of it. I have been slacking in bounty hunter, but these bounty vouchers are juicy for any free to play player. Aside from that, uh, one thing or one more thing to point out is the Aaron tree, the Aaron tree uh, system. So this is kind of like your idle system. Um, if you don't want to do any mini games, you don't care for the mini games uh, for the careers, you can always just sit your partners into here just make sure you can switch so treasure digging is for ranger uh you got escort for escort master bounty for uh bounty hunter a bounty for constables quiz, quiz for scholars and then you got fishing for chefs make sure you click on which one which career you want focused and then you can send them out and then uh what do i want can we not do sky star Oh, you really can. That's so sad. Uh, I'll probably level up my treasure digging, my ranger. So you can send them out. They'll give you like their. It'll sh sh show you which like partner is specializes in that, and then you spend three hundred seventy five vigor and you wait two hours and then you just claim. So if you're just lazy and you rather do it this way, you can. That's an option for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to know about career. I think one quick tip I do have uh, is that, keep going to collections, I apologize. If you go to career, ranger, at least get your ranger up to here. You can explore a formation eye for free in Floret Treasure. And Floret Treasure is something you're gonna be doing weekly, uh, which is under the limited time event. You, here's the floret treasure you need to um i think it's not time yet yeah it doesn't open yet but there's like these like lotus flowers with a circle radius around it uh, and you have to do that weekly with a full party of five so instead of like having to scavenger hunt um if you have a full party that has this ranger talent literally all of the five points will be open and then you can just click uh, on one of them and it'll auto path you to it. So you don't have to waste time. You just find it automatically. And it's just a huge quality of life change. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, I would say that's pretty much it. There's not much else to explain regarding the career system. Uh, I, hopefully this helped. If it's everything you already knew, I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> but uh, just let me know what else you guys would like to see. Cheers. Until the next video, guys. Bye.